hello everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys the new perfumes that i'm adding to my collection i do have separate videos that i basically whenever i get a couple of new perfumes i'll update my collection and i'll show you the new ones that i'm adding but it's not the full collection so i will link the first two videos you know from my very first one i still want to do an updated one where i include every single set but like i'm still slowly building so i feel like i want to wait a little bit more until i gather up more perfumes and then so it's like a little bit bigger um but yeah, so these are the ones that I have added um, recently to my collection in the past months and stuff. So yeah, let's get started. I do have a couple, like three body mists just because because I do have also a body mist collection. So anyways, so let's start off with this one. So I picked up the, I believe it's pronounced E de Juice or something like that. So this is what it looks like. It's super cute. It's a gold juice box and it has fingerprints on it. So excuse that. But this is the extra concentrate one. So I did pick up this perfume from Walmart.com. It was $25 and I picked this one up because I remember one time going to Kohl's and smelling these perfumes and this one was out and I really enjoyed this from what I remembered and it had been like a good month, like a couple months ago. So when I saw it at Walmart, I was all like, oh, the perfume. So I ordered it. I still kind of couldn't remember what it smelled like, but I do like this scent. When I looked up the notes, I was a little skeptical because I, I like patchouli, but it's always 50-50. I feel like when it's done well, my nose likes it. Or maybe when it's mixed with other notes that like complement it, I like it. But certain perfumes, sometimes I don't like it. It's just like always a risk that I'm willing to take honestly. Because this one is a heavy patchouli scent. Like the main accord is patchouli. And in the notes, it has, in the base notes, it has patchouli and amber. So that's why it was a little like mm, but i did remember liking it and i do like it i really don't even know how to explain how this smells besides it just smells super perfume qual like like quality it smells like a very nice perfume because i wouldn't say that to me it smells floral or sweet or fruity floral you know it just smells like i guess in in a sense if i had to like put a like a you know type of scent i guess i would say floral but it's kind of like a like a deep type of scent definitely like a night out type of scent it's really pretty i really enjoy this um the bottle i mean it's not the best bottle but i mean at least it's gold i feel like the gold saved it from from what it is <laughs> okay so the next one that i picked up was this one this one is a banana republic uh perfume and it looks like this i love the box and something about a sliding box girl it gets me but this is the fragrance here's the bottle i really love the bottle because i feel like it's so simplistic and just very nice to look out the uh the lid is actually pretty heavy has some nice weight to it and i picked this up at burlington for 22 dollars this fragrance is a white floral fragrance i was super surprised but i did pick it up because i looked at the notes when i was in the store and first of all i did want to i do want to say i took a little bit of advice from carmen here she has a youtube channel i will link it down below um she had made a video of how to blind buy perfumes and i watched it and i was like she is so right like i now what i do is i go to fragrantica and i type in the notes that i know that i love in perfumes and then fragrantica will give you samples of perfumes that have those notes in there like whether it be a base note or a, you know all of that jazz and then i go by that and i look at the perf and i like seek out those perfumes or then i'll be like oh well this interests me you know because the notes that are on there are some that i like so this one has is a white floral so that is already a plus for me because i like white floral it has gardenia i love gardenia and it also has tuberose ylang ylang jasmine i love me a good jasmine scent and amber and driftwood in the base note driftwood now this one to me smells like a shampoo conditioner type of scent it's very refreshing very bright i absolutely adore it it is mainly to me it smells like a uh, gardenia and a little bit of jasmine like a soft gardenia gardenia and jasmine i really don't know what cardam mom or however cardam i don't know how you pronounce it smells like so i wouldn't be able to tell if that is also present in here because i honestly don't know what that smells like but to my nose i just get gardenia jasmine and a tiny bit of amber but nothing too crazy that makes it like darker or anything but it's really nice if you like white florals 
you're definitely gonna love this one it almost reminds me of the toco florence slash bath and body works uh, fresh gardenia i'm definitely gonna be using this to layer all of these together because they smell just exactly the same to me but yes i definitely am happy with this addition to my collection so good okay so then the next one that i have added to my collection is none other than lavia bell this one has been in my perfume wish list and i bought it but dude dead ass when i went to macy's i smelled it so i thought i smelled it right i did though and i was like oh my god it smells really good but that was a long time ago it was a 30 percent off so i got it and then when i the main accords are sweet like it's mainly sweet a lot of people describe this as a very sweet fragrance I do love it. I honestly do. I think it's a very beautiful um, scent. But to me, it's not sweet. And I feel like it's because, if you guys know me, I mainly pick up patchouli and orange blossom um, in perfumes. My nose just, like, I don't know for what reason. That is, uh, whenever those notes are present, my nose picks them up very strong. And this one does say that it's a sweet and vanilla-y type of scent, like, mainly. And that's what people describe it as. But since my nose picks up those other notes. So to me, it's a little bit more of a floral with a tad bit of sweetness than, than a very sweet fragrance. But I still really like it. So... I feel like what saved it for me was that the base notes has praline, vanilla, and tonka bean. And I absolutely love tonka bean and fragrances. I feel like it just makes it a bitter type of sweet. And then the vanilla just gives it that more of like a sweetness. I do really like it. It smells so good. It's like a very feminine fragrance. And I feel like it has like, like that orange blossom and the patchouli give it that like extra type of difference where it's girly but it has a little something it has a little something there you know it's not just your basic girly fragrance i know that this is not liked just because it's overused but why is it overused because it's that good girl so um yes i really like this, this last girl she she's got your back like she will last you especially on your clothes she lasts like the whole day so the next fragrance that i have here is yes i am i just picked this up maybe like a month ago or something i don't really know but i picked it up through walmart it was 20 20 or 25 dollars for the one ounce and a little tip that i can give you if you buy this off a uh, full fragrance net buy it unboxed buy it without the lid because this is all the lid is this plastic thing that's not even covered and this falls off it's really not necessary save yourself like a couple dollars and get it unboxed because this is all you're gonna be missing out nothing too crazy so anyways I was very intrigued by this scent because I have smelled the first one that I've ever smelled from this line is the Yes I Am Glorious, which may I add, I am still going to get that one because it is an amazing, beautiful, peach fresh scent. I fell in love with it the first sniff, but I am waiting for that one to go on sale to pick it up. But this, so I was like, let me pick it up. Like, let me just give it a try because when I looked at the notes, the main accord was a sweet, um, warm, spicy, latonic, and I love latonic of fragrances now this one has a lot of notes like it has so many when i smell this first i get like a i definitely get the warm spicy because i feel like that ginger note in there gives it that like little tiny bit of spiciness and the amber gives a little bit of warmth and honestly the licorice note in here i pick up a lot because it is in a base note when it dries down i do pick up the licorice but i honestly like it i thought i wasn't going to like licorice my sister didn't quite like this but i do i love it it's like a it's it almost i don't know why it gives me cherry vibes but it's not cherry it has to be the raspberry because it doesn't have cherries in here but it's just like a type of bittery warm spicy scent and I actually really adore this. Okay, so next, my next two ones are from Victoria's Secret. I literally just bought these. They were having their $35, 1.7 ounce for $35. So I picked up the Tease Candy Noir. Look at the bottle. First of all, I love black. Black is like, it literally goes with my room. It's just gorgeous. I love, love, love that this is a black bottle. But I also really enjoy the teas fragrance, like the original teas. But this one, girl, mm -mm -mm, it is so good. This one is described to just have raspberry, iris, and tonka bean. I love iris. I've come to notice that iris or violet um, are kind of similar to me, and I love those scents. But this just is like, obviously, it's like the original DNA with added sweetness. 
like a little dark but nothing too crazy it smells really good i really enjoy this scent Honestly, I love all the teases. I've come to realize that the tease flankers are really good just as well as the bombshell ones because I was ma I'm mainly like a bombshell girl, but I've just come to discover like I love original tease. This one, the Crim Cloud, the Rebel, um the Dreamer, like girl, they're good. It smells delicious. The bottle is 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend this one. This is a very nice nighttime if you want to wear in the daytime wear girl, but it's really good i love it i love it so okay, much and then the next one that i have here is also like i said from victoria this is very sexy night and again it has the pull box gold box i love that and again look at the bottle black honestly it, i am just so aesthetically pleased right now with these two black bottles because they are giving everything that they have to give but anyways very sexy night is one of my favorites also from the very sexy line out of all the very sexies, this one is my favorite and then the original, but this one is number one. It's described as a fruity, sweet, um, fresh scent and that is exactly what it is. It has plum, apple, and woodsy notes. To me, it does. I get the plum and I get like if it was plum and a little bit of green apple shavings. And like the dry down is a little bit woody, but nothing too crazy. You can honestly probably barely even tell it is woody to me. But it's mainly like that juicy, fruity scent. And I feel like it's all day wear. You can wear it at night and pull it off. You can wear it in the daytime. It is so good. That's all I have to say about this. If you like fresh, plum, apple-y scents, definitely get this one. It almost gives you also like fresh out the shower. Just smelling so good and fresh. It's bomb. Okay, what else? I have added a couple roller balls. I've been doing my little series. So I'm just going to go through them because, I mean, technically they are perfumes. They're just like roller ball travel spray ones. Um, so let me show you which ones I've added to my little. This is where I'm going to show you where I keep my little roller ball. It's like this little spinning tray. And my roller balls are right here. It's so cute. It has little diamonds on the side. My travel vials, lipstick vials are these right here these are the ones that i've added so i have added the jimmy Choo illicit i'm still testing this out and then also dior's a poison hypnotic poison oh my god my nose is itching. i've also added lancome's trezor and not a fan i'm actually wanting to sell this because i only sprayed it like once and i never used it because i did not enjoy the scent but i have this here I've also added the Armani C Fiori. Oh, girl. I wore this yesterday. I went out yesterday and I hadn't realized how good this does smell. Like I did say that I it was a beautiful flanker and everything, but now I'm kind of second like my how do you say second guessing myself? Because I was sitting down in the movie theater girl and like everything was calm and you know how they have that air conditioning going on. So when that air would hit my nose, I was like, oh my god, like I smell so good. I still think that like like it's like the original but powdery Ooh, in a good way and I'm like oh, am I changing my mind mentirosa but it does smell really good anyways <laughs> um, I also have added YSL's Libre so there we go and then I have also added Dolce Gabbana light blue and pure poison which I haven't even reviewed for you guys but um yes I have added I also I already have it in my possession I've tested it out I just have to film my video. Maybe I'll do it after this video. And then my other roller balls are from Victoria. So the ones that I've only added, like new new from the other ones that I've had, are the Tease Creme Cloud, the Very Sexy Oasis. I actually have two of these. So here are those. And then I have also added the uh, the Tease Candy Noir and the Love. From Victoria and as well as the bombshell drenched I've also added pure wonder from Bath and Body Works I have two of them and the only reason why I added a new one was because I went to do an exchange I had gone in the summer I can't remember the name but I'll put a picture I got that one in the roller in the spray thingy and when I had it when I smelled it in the store I really liked it and when I tried it at home I was like this is too sweet for summer 
I just I was not really liking it after all so I wanted to return it and get the beach nights but they didn't have any other rollerball roller spray besides the um, pure wonder and I was like well might as well I really can't get anything else and I like pure wonder actually it's one of my favorites so I did add pure wonder and then I also added this one which I am in love with girl you don't even know I have added this one this is by the brand Skylar I've always seen people like talk about it and it's always comes out on my Instagram this one is the fall cashmere so I don't know if this is a perfume roller ball or an oil because as you can see it kind of has oil in there I don't know if all of the fragrances do that because I've never bought in any from them but I'm gonna say it's like somewhat of an oil and I bought this at Burlington for $8 this smells so goddamn good I love um like chai I like chai scents I like um anything with nutty notes in there almond tonka bean those type of vibes are immaculate i love those type of scents and when i smelled this one i was like it needs to be mine it reminded me of my a chai a piece i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it it also reminded me of my uh pumpkin chai from bath and body works oh my god it literally is like fall in a little tiny roller ball it, this smells so good if you like fall type of scents like you're gonna love this i absolutely fell in love and i had to bring it home with me and it's pretty strong you know it's a tiny little bottle but she she's like how do you say um she's a spicy little one because she does last and it's it's freaking bomb the body mist that i have added to my body mist collection are the i have added the vanilla confetti sparkle um this one everybody was saying that this one was a repackaged of como se llama uh confetti cake pop and i have the lotion i have two lotions of confetti cake pop i absolutely love it but i never was able to get the body mist when they had it out so when i heard that this was a repackaged i freaking went to bed and body works and i picked it up and it does smell exactly like confetti cake pop Mm, it is so good it's just like i said it's like almost like buttery and also vanilla it just smells like vanilla and popcorn and i don't know but it has like that type of scent to it and i love it it's just very creamy and delicious and definitely worth it okay and then the next one that i have added is beach nights and girl i had never smelled this but i saw katherine katherine what's wrong with me i saw self-care katherine um talk about this thing i was like hmm, i've never smelled this so when i went to the store to do my little exchange this one was like all propped up you know in the display and i was like let me go smell it and this one has toasted marshmallows sea salt breeze s'mores accords beach driftwood and creamy vanilla and when i tell you that i automatically was like oh my god this smells so good I just grabbed it I grabbed the lotion I grabbed the body mist I wanted the perfume rollerball or perfume spray I don't know if they had it but I swear to god I saw it in my other I ended up going to two different Bath and Body Works but anyways I this one is such a mind play to be honest to me because it's like it's a gourmand for summer because those beachy notes give it like the amounts that it needs to not be a super sweet gourmand like a Fitty K-pop or whatever and it's so good i said that this one would be a lovely scent to go to the beach because it it's gonna be like a nice cold breeze but you're still gonna have like that sweet aspect everybody loves to smell sweet who doesn't like to smell sweet i don't know anybody girl who doesn't like to have a nice coat of vanilla on their skin you know oh it is so good it smells like a fresh day at the beach but you were like eating a s'mores you know like you're still like that sweet snack but in a fresh way i don't know but this is so good and then i have also added fresh getaway when this one first came out i wasn't super intrigued because i'm not like the biggest fan of laundry detergent type of smelling scent and that's what i thought this one was gonna smell like i'm like why do i want to smell like my clothes washed clothes like that's what i already smell like when i don't put any fragrance on you know what i'm saying but this one was surprisingly quite nice i smelled it in the store and it honestly i i thought that this one would pair really well with dosha cabana light blue because it has like citrusy notes but it's also really fresh and that's what i get when i smell um light blue 
but I really like this and especially because you know summer's coming so sometimes it's way too hot to be even wearing anything remotely like super sweet or super floral like sometimes I have a headache I get headaches when it's summertime I need to go buy myself like a bottle of Advil already because I already know the headaches are coming the migraines it is awful for me in the summer I literally suffer but I really wanted something where it was just like very fresh, very light. And I thought this one was perfect. I also picked up the lotion for this one. So anyways, that is all of the fragrances, body mist, perfumes, rollerball, whatever, that I have added to my collection. And I'm super happy with everything. Everything was a successful buy. Some of them were blind buys. Some of them, but they worked out, girl. And I'm super happy for that. And I cannot wait to buy more fragrances. Like, like I've said, I really want to do more fragrance-related videos. But, like, I'm still new at collecting. So I don't have, like, the biggest collection to, like, give you recommendations for this, for that, separate type of things. So I'm still, um, you know, buying and exploring fragrances. I'm still very new at this. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell so you're notified when I upload. And I will see you lovely, beautiful people in my next video. Mm -hmm.